I'm a biologist, and I work behind the scenes at the Sam Noble Oklahoma Museum of Natural History in Norman, Oklahoma. And this is my dog, Jet, and I am training him to be a deer tracking dog. I have a little bit of background in dog training, and so we got started in a sport called Barn Hunt, which is set up to test dogs' ability to find rodents. And it's in a setting, it's pure competition, nothing is killed in the in the competition and Jet really excelled at that and then I heard about deer tracking when ODWC passed those regulations last year and I, I thought Jet, this is something Jet will really love and so I just tested him out and he seems to be good at it. So, When Jet is out tracking or hunting or doing anything like that, um, he very much loves it, he gets very excited. I'm just along for the ride kind of. Um, I didn't do a lot of training with Jet on the deer tracking. We've done training on other odors, so he knows how to source an odor. But when it came to the deer tracking, I never really introduced him to deer odor. I just showed him the blood and he followed it. And he's very serious when he's doing it. Of He, he kind of knows his job and he goes on. And, and I didn't really teach him to do that. He just did it. So, Okay, so when we're training, what we do is... More than likely, we're not going to have a deer at the end of it. We are going to lay a track, a training track, which is usually about 50 to 100 yards when you're starting out. Um, when you're starting out, you want these to be very sustainable hides for your dog, so we don't want it to be a test. Right now, we're training. And so we laid a track that was probably about 75 yards. And what I did was I had some blood that I had had in my freezer, and I thawed that out and dropped blood about every 5 to 10 feet and then I drug two deer legs with partial hooves still attached. I drug those just back and forth across the field to make my track, and then at the end I left both of those hooves and I left um, the skin from a deer head for Jet to find. I try to give him cues of what we're gonna do. So when we are tracking, Jet has a very specific collar he wears. He wears an orange safety vest. I wear an orange safety vest and there's a very specific leash that we use for these things. And so that gives him a cue of whether we're training or actually tracking. So um, in the state of Oklahoma right now, there are probably about a dozen teams that are ready to go, ready to find your deer if you call them. Jet and I are still green, which means we're still in training and I don't feel quite confident. Um, definitely trying to sell myself as a deer tracker. Um, if somebody's willing to give us a shot at tracking a deer, whether it's known or not, that's sort of where we are right now, but I'm not ready to make any even partial guarantees that we can recover deer yet, so.